Hi everybody. So I thought I'd do a video update this time. Um, so I'm just going to give you the status of what's going on. Uh, we've got the cases. Those have all been milled. Uh, all the cases and paddles have been milled. Uh, they've been tumbled and they're an the anodizer right now. So pretty excited to see how those turn out. Uh, we've got the knobs being machined as well. Those are supposed to start this week and then those will go to the anodizer as well. Um, those are going to look awesome. I'm really excited. Also, um, as I mentioned last time, I've been testing some new parts, so hopefully I can improve the performance of the portable SDR. So to that end, um, you guys have already seen this one. Uh, so this let me test a few new components, and then um, there were some ideas that I liked. looked like it was turning out okay. So I designed another test board, and this, I realized afterward that this is almost a complete SDR in and of itself, an entire front end anyway. So if I had just put uh, amplifiers and connectors, it could hook it into a computer and use it. So maybe later on I'll, I'll do that and put like a USB interface on it or something. But anyway, so this is going to test the new front end arrangement that I want to do that uh, should give us a lot more flexibility, uh, better signal performance, things like that, if things work as planned. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of un unknowns here. This is a, a pretty ambitious change that I'm making, so... Um, so the plan is, anything that works on this design will get incorporated into the radios that you'll be receiving. And anything that, that doesn't look like it's going to work in a reasonable time frame, I'll just leave it where it currently is, using the uh, existing design. So, I'll let you know how that turns out. I probably will know in about a week or so um, how well this design is going to work. I would have had it built up today, but uh, DigiKey made a little bit of a mistake in shipping some of the parts. So um, so when the new parts get here, then I'll go ahead and finish up the rest. And I'm having to... Uh, so there's parts of this that are going to be running in the several hundred megahertz, and I want to be able to check it. And although I love my little Rigel, uh, it doesn't go up that high. So I have a, I have a co-worker that's going to let me borrow his $20,000 oscilloscope for a few days. So I'm uh, nervous about that. Um... Any other news? Have some parts coming in. And we had the baby. So, um, so I haven't slept in a while. But uh, he's cute. He was healthy, Carly's healthy, and we're, uh, we're adjusting to that. As some people in the comments pointed out, uh, he is occupying more of my time than I had expected. I naively thought that uh, we'd play with him and then he'd go to sleep for a few hours and I could get things done during those hours, but uh, it doesn't really work that way. But I have still made progress, as you can see. Um, I have some designs going, still pushing things forward. Um, someone asked when they thought these would be delivered and ready. Um, I know my original goal was to have things shipping out this month, and that just isn't going to happen. And I apologize for that. It really had hoped to not be one of those Kickstarters that ran late, but um, I, hope, uh, I hope you'll forgive me for the delays, and I appreciate everyone's patience and um, support. So, uh, at this point, I'm thinking I probably have another two or three months until things are complete. Um, some of those things... So, for example, when I have the uh, these changes checked out and integrated into the new design, that re, re layout is going to take me a while. But once that's done, and I've tested it and I'm okay with it, then I have to send it over to the uh, PCB manufacturer, and they said it can take a few weeks to get parts in, and then once they have the parts, it takes a few weeks to assemble. So at that point, it will just kind of be at the mercy of how quickly they can put things together. One of the things I've learned during this process is that everything takes longer than I think it will. A lot of, a lot of parts I've done, the housings and things like that, I get answers like, yeah, we'll have it in two weeks, and in two weeks, they're like, well, we haven't started on it yet, so. Um, probably some of that to me not pushing hard enough, but anyway, so, learn as I go. Um, I think that's about it. I appreciate your support. I hope to have something pretty exciting for you guys soon, and delays notwithstanding, I hope it'll be something that you guys are really happy with. So, I really appreciate everyone's support, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Any video?